Hello, my name is Vinay Kumar and today we will we'll talk about how we can create custom validator in Oracle ADF. Normally uh, in our application we, we got the requirement to have some custom validation which is not provided by the ADF framework so today we will see how we can do that. For the demo purpose I am going to create an email validator and uh, I am going to create, I mean this is the input field to enter a name so that user should not put any any numeric character numeric for numbers here and if they try to validate they should get a mirror error message like enter the characters only I mean it should not allow any numbers or numeric values and similarly if we enter some values in uh, email should be a valid email otherwise it should throw some error message so we can also provide we can also define the error message whatever we want to give and if you just write validate it will give an error message enter the valid email id so we will today uh, now we will see how we can create this custom validator so for that uh, i'm going to create a new application uh, first we will close the application yep and we will create a new application click on application user and web application click ok and i will name as custom validator one and we will leave the default values as it is click on finish all right so so this is our new application created so in the view controller we will create a new jsp page for ui so i'm going to create a jsp page uh, it's better to create jsp page click here jsf jsf page and we will name as input form dot jsp and click ok now we will enter few of the input field here we will find some input components here i will drag drop here and we will drag drop two input text and one command button and we will change the label as uh, maybe email id and name and on the button we will just name as Submit. Okay. Now we have to write some custom validators. So first we will create two validator class files, and then we will map that validator into this input text field. So go to that uh, view controller project. Play, uh, create a Java file here. Java class. Select Java class. Okay. We will name as uh, email validator and you should all always make a note that it should always implement a validator class. So I will search validator. Yeah, it should be Java spaces validator and it should always implement the, this. All right and. Uh, for that we will use I have already created uh, some code so I just copy paste here to make it fast so uh, here I have used uh, here I have used a regular expression to check an email validator We will add required import. We will ask for that. We 
mm -hmm. and then we will see okay so we have incorporated all the correct import file import the packages and now we have no warning and no errors now we will create another java file another java validator and for the name so we'll name as name validator and again it should implement from uh, validator so we'll name as validator click ok ok alright and uh, here you can use uh, some I have already written a code in the notepad so I will just use it here uh, I'm just using again regular expression to check whether uh, that value contain some numeric value or not alright so we have just used this regular expression and that's it now the another task the, now the another now we will create a name validator class We have used regular expression to check whether the string contain numeric values or not. Now the another task we have to map these validator into facesconfig.xml. So we will open that facesconfig.xml. So explain the first, I mean explain implementation of the JSF validator. So in normal JSF we we normally use faces.config. So it's the same way we are doing here. So we will go to the overview, and this is the validator tab here. We will map, we will click here, and we can uh, name as mail uh, validator. And here you can email validator. Click again. Click on save. Or you can also add some attribute for uh, particular validators and the properties. But as of now, I'm not doing that. Click on save. And now go to the go to the page GHP page you have created. Select in the structure window. Select that input text and right click and choose insert inside the input text and as JSF code and as validator. And here it will uh, ask for that uh, validator ID you, which you want to put. So we we have default values as email validator because we already map the validator with basisconfig.xml so I will select email validator and now again I will choose that name insert inside input text JSF code and validator and when we do that we have a validator inside the input text and we, we just need to map the validator ID I will map it as put ID that's it and if you uh, see the uh, Java file the validator class which we created so we can also enter the some default error messages uh, if you want to change some custom error message you can do that and same you can provide some error messages whatever you want to get that's it and just you need to run the page and we can see the changes here okay our server is up and running so we can go to the page so this is the page we can see in the screens we have two input column in email id so we will enter some uh, invalid email id like uh, and when we click on the submit button if you see the implementation of, of the, this button we don't have anything if you go to the source of the button we don't have anything it's just a command button but it will submit the form 
so when you click here we will get an error message enter the valid email id and you can also change this default error message so i'm going to enter some now i'm going to enter some right email id abc at uh, abc.com and now this is a valid email id and I now click and we will now the validator will not give any error message now we will try to enter some wrong name or some numeric values like and we got a message that enter the characters only you you are not allowed to enter the numeric value so we will just name we will enter the name as Minakuma and click on submit and nothing now we will not get any error message so this is the beautiful power of the JSF validator which we can create and we can use an area framework and this is the source of the page so I mean it's uh, it's very fast you can build uh, your error messages so fast and that's all thanks for the watching if you have any questions any comment please let me know thanks for watching thanks for the time bye bye